Hi everybody, I'm Derek Scott. Welcome to another edition of Gamecock Rewind. South Carolina and Tennessee, it's a great SEC rivalry. In 2012, it had memorable moments, both good and bad, for fans of both teams. It was a day that started with a surprise performance from Darius Rucker at Gamecock Village. As the day progressed and folks got ready for some football, Marcus Lattimore left us with an impression that no one will ever truly forget as Gamecock fans. They respect him as a football player, respect him as a man and a person. And of course, there was the performance by Jadavian Clowney that saved the day. So sit back and enjoy a rewind of Gamecocks and Volunteers. An SEC East matchup. South Carolina, the talk of college football two weeks ago, but now the Gamecocks trying to rebound from a two-game skid. Meanwhile, Tennessee trying to avoid its third straight year starting 0-5 in conference play. South Carolina back home after consecutive losses at LSU and a disaster at Florida a week ago. And they'll kick it away from him through the end zone, so it comes out to the 25. And Bray on first down. In rhythm has a completion at the 30-yard line of Justin Hunter. Bray, long throw, and it's dropped. It was definitely catchable. South Carolina coaches told us they were going to run Marcus Lattimore a lot today. He picks up about a yard there, brought down by Herman Lathers. Second and nine, and Shaw uh, will roll out and throw, and it's complete to Sanders. And Sanders out of bounds at the 42-yard line. They put Cunningham in the backfield at tight end at fullback. And Lattimore gets a great block. And Lattimore with the first down. Dragged down in the open field at the 45-yard line in Tennessee territory. And now Shaw looking for Lattimore right on cue. But good defense as Tennessee flies to the football at the 40-yard line. After a four-yard gain, Jordan Williams, a defensive end, leading the charge. Third down and five, and Shaw. And Tennessee does a great job again getting to the football. You had Eric Gordon, the corner, crashing. Fourth down and three. You're out of field goal range. Do you punt and try to pin Tennessee deep, or do you go for it? Fourth down and four. Shaw with time. It's tipped and caught for a first down by Sanders. Tennessee was late getting a 12th defender off, but no penalty marker as Shaw's hit. Gets out of there and gets rid of it complete inside the 30-yard line. Ellington not picked up, and he'll score. Touchdown, South Carolina. So it was good to, to see Connor step in there and make the throws and not run all the time. Had to run a little bit, uh, but it was good for him. Confidence shaken in Connor Shaw. He's hung in there. And this opening drive and made some plays. Found Ellington a 33-yard touchdown. After we lost those two on the road at LSU in Florida, we came back against Tennessee, and uh, Tennessee really a pretty good team, even though I think they went, what, five and seven or something like that, yeah, but they were a good team. And they could always throw the football, and that's what this game ended up being. So you knew you had to score some oh, points. They, they threw for a bunch, bunch of yards against us, so uh, I think this is a little bit of a scramble play. And Connor comes out, and he sees Bruce over here, and Bruce catches it and runs for a touchdown. <laughs> This guy's sort of guarding him. He makes makes a mistake, and Bruce takes it on in. That's the, the scramble ability has changed the game in a lot of ways for these quarterbacks who can get away from that pursuit. Four-man rush, nice job by mm -hmm. Connor finding him, and Bruce does yep. what to do when he gets it. Yeah, some plays just, just happen. Just ball players making plays. Take a look. They wanted to get the ball to Justice Cunningham, the tight end, on a seam route. Take a look. Freezer right there, guys. He's covered down here. Connor Shaw wants to throw the football. He's not there. So what does he do? He breaks the tackle, keeps his eyes downfield, finds the check down to Ellington, and Ellington does the rest. Good progression and growth from Connor Shaw in keeping his eyes downfield. Nine play, 81-yard drive. Third touchdown catch of the season for Ellington. And the point after by Yates.
I am where memories come at full speed. Here with me, families bond together, and friendships are forged by tradition. I am the place you call home, and on game day, inside my walls is exactly where you belong. Because in the end, Carolina, I am forever to thee. 2013 Gamecock football season tickets are on sale now. Friday has been bothered by a foot and drink. Second and ten, Bray, and it's complete. Inside the 40-yard line. Bray to the air again. The quick passing game and wide open is Rodgers down the sideline. It's 10th play of the drive. And Bray pumps wide open in the end zone. Beautiful pump fake by the quarterback. Zach Rogers got free from the defender. Easy touchdown for Tennessee. Second and 10 for Tennessee from its 13-yard line. And Bray gets rid of it just as Clowney gets near him. He was trying to hit Pig Howard. You cannot ask uh, one guy, much less a back to clock team. Here's Bray in third and ten. And in the traffic, it is caught for a first down to Justin Hunter. And have him as the Wildcat. Here's Bray on second and eight, stepping up, throwing complete. And Howard gets drilled. Third and four. And Bray to the air as time and a strike caught for a first down by Hunter. Third down and ten. Bray through the hands of Hunter. Catchable pass, and again, Bray had time to throw. They're already over 100 yards total offense, but they have not run the ball well yet. Seven of their nine rushes have gone for two yards or less. Play action here for Connor Shaw. Flushed out of the pocket. And Shaw nailed and lost the ball. And Tennessee's got it. Penalty flag down. Salisbury hacked it out. It's recovered by Couch. Personal foul. Horse collar tackle on the defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Wow, that's a penalty there that negates the turn the takeaway. Take a look at Bohannon. He gets his arm around the neck area. And then the question is he pull him back, pull no, him down from I, I, behind the collar. If we get another, let's take a look from this angle. Remember, it's got to be an immediate pull down. I don't know if that qualifies as a, as a horse collar. He didn't yank him down to the ground. He had a hold of the back of his jersey. Did you see a yank there? But certainly the hand was up in the horse collar area. He was a runner. He was outside the tackle box there. So that would be a penalty if it is a horse collar. Shaw rolling out and beautiful throw inside the 25 to Ellington. Keeps his feet and pushed out. Behind Shaw. Shaw to throw with time. Dumps it off to Cunningham. Muscles his way close to the first down. Carrying defenders to the 10. Shaw. Diving and appears to have the first down. Second and goal. There's some movement on the right side of the line for South Carolina. Brandon Shell jumped and Tennessee came across as well. False start. Number 55, the center with a head bob. Five yard penalty. Second down. That's on TJ Johnson. He's making a school record 49th consecutive start at center. Shaw on second and goal with time. Everybody covered. Now Shaw in trouble and goes down. Kurt Majit gets back there. It'll be third and goal from the 26. It would be about a 44-yard attempt if they can't move the ball out of an empty set. Shaw down the middle of the field. Caught. Touchdown. Rory Anderson. Now this was one of the big plays of the game. This is third and 27, I think, 26 or so. And they're playing a three deep zone and we're trying to hit Buster in about the same area that 
uh, Bruce Ellington caught the pass against Michigan, same area right down in here. Uh, they call that the seam area, mm -hmm. seam of the three deep zone. And Connor zings it in there. And this was this was third down. They could have tackled him right there, and we sitting there fourth, two or three. We might have had to kick a field goal, but uh, Buster gets it in the end zone. Look at that. He Takes out. a hit from two mm -hmm. defenders and still spins away. It was an amazing play. score. Excellent play by Busta Anderson there and Connor. Good read by mm -hmm. Connor. As you see the free mm -hmm. safety there in the middle of the field, mm -hmm. he's reading them to decide which hash mark he's going. Looking mm -hmm. off a little bit to the left side here, Coach. And yeah, it was a good right. quick throw. Uh, and as you can see, I think the Tennessee guys helped hit each other, which was, was good for Buster. And uh, he took it on in the end zone. A third of Buster's receptions during the year were for touchdowns. Yeah. Execution, part scheme. Take a look. Just two vertical routes down the field, and Byron Moore is the one that's responsible for making this play. You get put pressure downfield. Byron Moore's got to get there and make that play. Even if you get him on the ground inside the five, you force a field goal attempt. But it's also part scheme. Sal Sincera, I don't understand why you play a single safety defense when you know that Carolina's got to attack the end zone. And so far he's made two outstanding plays. Here comes an end around. Patterson. They get him in his hands out in space and he's dangerous. Gray with a short throw. And that's got no chance. Lane will lose yardage on the play. Victor Hampton on the tackle in Tennessee will punt. Here's Lattimore. Inside run and he's got the first down. Gain of 11 brought down by Byron Moore. South Carolina needs Georgia to win and some help. Lattimore again between the tackles and forced down the ground at the 48 yard line after a gain of five. Quade Gilchrist the 250 pound fullback in front of Lattimore. He'll fake it to him and Shaw going downfield and a nice catch by Cunningham. It was wide open again against that Tennessee secondary. 20 yard gain, first down. From the Tennessee 28, first and 10. Gamecocks leading by a touchdown. Lattimore up the gun. Big hole! He gone! Touchdown, South Carolina! In a shootout ball game, mm -hmm. you need all the scoring you got, and that usually means Marcus yep. Lattimore. Yeah, here goes Marcus. One of his patented runs. Finds a little crack there in the line of stream. Now, this was well blocked. This was well blocked. Looks like we got, we pretty much got a hat on everybody. So he's got a little opening there. I don't Ronald know. Patrick coming to the second level there and getting the linebacker. I think this guy thought it was a rollout pass, so he runs out of the way, and Marcus takes it on up there in there for a touchdown. 28-yard touchdown run in the second quarter. It was his 41st career touchdown for the Gamecocks. Good job by Shell, the young right tackle, sliding inside. Yeah, he slides down. RP, Ronald Patrick, comes off, barely gets a little bit of the guy. And look at that little small crack Marcus got through with his pads down. And now he's off and running. And now he's gone. Four play, 64 yard drive. Tennessee's already given up over 200 yards total offense. Some of these plays show up on film. He's a junior college transfer. Bray with an on time throw there to Vincent Dallas. He'll come up a couple of yards short of the first down, third and two. But the coaches have said that's been a problem for Bray. A quick pitch here. Lane trying to find a hole, and he's wrapped up short of the first down. Brought down at the 45 yard line by Jeffrey. They bring Patterson in motion. Johnson takes off and has the first down. They pitch it to Patterson, and he hurdles a couple of guys. Brought down in South Carolina territory after a gain of five. And a quick pitch again to Lane, and Klein's got him, but missed the tackle. And he got positive yardage. 
Oh, actually, double team Clowney there, and Brent going downfield. End zone. Beautiful grab. Touchdown, Rodgers. Brad Rodgers with his second touchdown of the ball game. 37 yards for Brad. I am where memories come at full speed. Here with me, families bond together, and friendships are forged by tradition. I am the place you call home. And on game day, inside my walls is exactly where you belong. Because in the end, Carolina, I am forever to thee. 2013 Gamecock football season tickets are on sale now. Spurrier's pretty happy. He was at Duke prior to going to Florida. Shaw underneath into traffic. It's caught to the 23-yard line. Chuckles or Munchie? Who's got the better name <laughs> in college football? Lattimore wrapped up by Lathers. And the ball came out, but they're going to rule Lattimore down. And Lattimore is hurt. One of the more talented running backs in all of college football. Two years ago as a freshman, people were talking as if he might be the best back in the country. Had 17 touchdowns and 1,200 yards as a frosh. Well, they've got to get that immobilized, secured that knee. How about a class move by uh, Tennessee also? A lot of the uh, defensive players for Tennessee coming over to check on Lattimore. They have so much respect yeah. for him, and he's a well-liked young man around the SEC. Absolutely. I mean, they respect him as a football player, respect him as a man and a person. His entire team, they just elected him captain. Right. You know, they had four seniors that were elected captain, and Marcus Lattimore was the only non-senior elected as a captain just this week. So much respect from the entire team for Marcus Lattimore. In fact, they were supposed to do that last week because they knew Lattimore was going to win. They said, let's go ahead and do it now. Let's vote now. They did, and Lattimore did win as the only non-senior captain, permanent captain. You can see so many of these players are visibly emotional. You know, this is one of your teammates, one of your brothers that you love so much. Players from the other side are emotional. Fans in the stands are emotional. They know what Marcus means to this team. They know how hard he's worked. And it's hard to go back to the game after something like this happens for these players. So how do the coaches handle this, especially Steve Spurrier, when it's your guy that has gone down, your leader, your best player? Well, you, you can't avoid the emotion of this. I mean, it's not just losing your best player. This is your emotional leader, and you feel for him as a person and a player. There's no way around it. It's hard to go back to calling plays. It's hard to go back to executing on the field, but you've got to put it aside and say, Marcus would want us to go out and continue to fight and execute and win. Standing ovation from Marcus Lattimore. And they go with an empty set. Kenny Miles, by the way, is Lattimore's replacement. He started last week. Lattimore was bothered by a hip problem. Shaw going deep, and it is incomplete along the sideline. No penalty flag. It was intended for freshman Shaq Rowland. Gray will throw. And the short pass caught by Rivera, the tight end. The ball comes out. No signal yet whether it's an incompletion or a catch and a fumble. Rivera did get it back. So it is rolled a completion. And Cloudy lined up over the ball. Bray throws incomplete, trying for Rivera. The pass was high. Now Polardi had a rough day so far punting the football. This is a good one, though. And Sanders with a dangerous play. They're catching it over his shoulder. Trying to get outside. He's got the corner. And then ran out of play at the 34-yard line. Race a wide receiver screen to Ellington. And A. Sanders with a great block to spring Ellington. Shaw will throw on second and ten. And it's caught inside the 30-yard line by Cunningham. He'll come up just short of a first down, but it will be third down and a yard. 
Here's Miles, and he powers forward for the first down. McCullers got him on the ground, but a good hard run by Kenny Miles, Lattimore's replacement. Again with Ty and Shaw downfield. It's caught to the one yard line is Justice Cunningham. It'll be first in goal, South Carolina. 30 seconds remaining in the half. Here's Miles, and he stood up. Lathers got him, kept him from getting into the end zone. See if they give it to Miles again here. They do have a timeout left. They will. Miles to the goal line, and short. So it's third and goal. South Carolina will call its final timeout. Third down and goal for South Carolina. Leading by seven. Out of timeouts. 18 seconds left in the half. Shaw going to walk in. Touchdown. That was easy for Connor Shaw. Take a look at Jordan Williams. This is his play to make. And once the snap of the football, he just gets caught crashing down and has no chance to get to the outside and Connor Shaw. So Bray takes a knee. He had a, had a solid first half for Tennessee. So a 14 point deficit is not insurmountable for the balls if they can stop South Carolina, which put up 28. The kind of growth that Steve Spurrier wanted to see from Connor Shaw in a game like this. Now, last week against Alabama, he was pulled after the first half. 9 of 20, 72 yards, and an interception against Florida, I should say, and did not play in the second half. He's going to throw here on first and 10. Ellington out in space. First down and more for Ellington as the Tennessee pass defense continues to struggle. They've given up over 230 yards through the air. So, first down from the South Carolina 48. Here's Miles off the right side, and boy, if he broke that tackle, it was one on one with the corner Coleman, but it's A.J. Johnson that trips him up. 0 for 2 in that third and short situation. They've been converting the third and longs. The blitz is picked up, and Shaw's going deep. One on one coverage. He overthrew Sanders. Justin Coleman defending. Shaw wants that one back. So Tennessee takes over first down in the 20. Young is a tailback. And he gets knocked down after a gain of one. Reginald Owens, the middle linebacker, made the tackle. Second and nine for Tennessee. Trying to avoid an 0-5 record in the SEC for the third straight year to start the season. Here's a delayed handoff, and South Carolina's all over it. And wide open is Patterson. First down, Vols. Another third down and long for Tennessee. Gray with time and going to go deep. Single coverage. Defender falls. It's caught. Vincent Dallas touchdown, Tennessee. He came in in SEC games with more interceptions than touchdowns, but he's played his best conference game of the year today. One on the play clock. They got to snap it. And they did get the playoff and Shaw going deep. And it's Bobby. Incomplete. And then the official, the side judge, I'd love to know what he said there as he just got taken out. And Connor Shaw holding that injured right shoulder. In fact, they told us that he was 100% going into today, but he's had a scapula problem. Yeah. Seth Strickland, who's thrown five passes this year, a fifth year senior, who Steve Spurrier says knows the offense. Makes good decisions. He's the quarterback right now with Shaw on the sidelines. Up on the sideline. He'll come back in for our next play. Second down and 10. And the first pass from Strickland is on the money to Rory Anderson. He steps out at the 31 for a gain of six. And there you go. You're cold on the sideline. You come in, you know, you need one pitch and you deliver right on the money. They're going to run miles. And he's going to be close. Brought down by McCullers. Looks to be just short. So fourth down and one. Second three and out here in the third quarter. Wow. By South Carolina. I am where memories come at full speed. Here with me, families bond together. And friendships are forged by tradition. I am the place you call home. 
And on game day, inside my walls is exactly where you belong. Because in the end, Carolina, I am forever to thee. 2013 Gamecock football season tickets are on sale now. And you have the Gator and Spurrier and the Boilermaker in Greasy. There's Shaw on the rollout and the pass is caught by Sanders out of bounds at the 35. It's gained of about 15. Second and nine. Shaw and shotgun and way through the third. In trouble. Shaw trips but keeps his balance and Close to the first down. Stepped out about two yards short. True freshman Mike Davis in the game at tailback. No Lattimore. And Davis straight ahead. Powers. He gets pushed back. We'll see where they give him forward progress. It looked like he got enough for the first down. Herman Lathers, who has had some big hits today, made the stop. Shaw on second and seven. And another. Well thrown ball to A. Sanders, first down catch to the 40 yard line. Connor Shaw has been terrific passing the football today, 18 of 24. First down at the 40 yard line of Tennessee. Been pretty balanced. First down, running and passing. It's a Shaw run here, and he slides to the 36 yard line for about four. And Shaw taken off again. First down, four shot of the 29-yard line. It's a great, great play call from Steve Spurrier. Check at the line of scrimmage. You see a two-deep defense, six guys in the box. Give it to your second leading rusher. Let Connor Shaw get out there with a the lead blocker and the tight end, and then get down. Very effective. Shaw again with all kinds of time. Pass into traffic, and it's going to be pass interference. Cunningham was the intended receiver. Lathers was all over him, so it'll be an automatic first down instead of third down and long. So first and 10 at the 25 of Tennessee. Fifth volunteer penalty. Here's Davis trying to run behind some blockers, but Lathers is able to make a play. So no ranked teams remaining. Shaw going deep. Sanders caught. Touchdown. I just felt like we took what the defense gave. Um, you know, they're playing in a, in a zone, so we were able to hit some spots. Uh, Justice had a great game. I think we had two receivers over 100 yards, and Ace right up there with them. And uh, it, offensive line protected well. I just felt like we played pretty solid on offense. South Carolina now over 400 yards total offense. 11 play, 80 yard drive, and the extra point by Yates. It's a 14 point lead for the Gamecocks. Tennessee trying to cut into this 14 point lead Reese they got punch on Watson true freshman from Athens Georgia who's in the ball game at tailback South Carolina with eight in the box and they'll run Watson he's got a running lane 35 out near the 40 and Watson trying to find a hole it's not there he gets swallowed at the line of scrimmage both of these tackles are doing a nice job on these ends and now in a situation third and short where they have to come off the football. Third and two. Play action. And Bray going deep. The defender falls again, but it's overthrown. Hunter can't catch up with it. Fourth down and two. It'll be a pass play. Bray moving around. Throws complete. First down. And it's Pig Howard inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. First down. At the 39 of South Carolina. And a huge play by Clowney. Grabbing Lane and throwing him down. So improved against the run. And made a play there. Well, as soon as I call him out, he's going to come on a pinch here. A little stunt game. Tennessee wasn't ready for it on the offensive line. And, and that's a call on the line of scrimmage. Now that Tennessee's run the ball with a little bit of success. Defensive coordinator Lorenzo Ward will pinch and scrape those defensive tackles in order to get in those run lanes. Clowney out of the game for second down and nine. Final minute of the third quarter. Bray, another overthrow. He had the receiver, Carter, wide open. Third and nine. Bray stepping up, throwing, complete. First down, Justin Hunter. 
Right a pass on first and 10. Here's Hunter inside the 15. And down to the 12, another first down. A little trickery here. They're going to put Pick Howard in as the Wildcat quarterback on first down. And Howard going to throw it. Wide open. Touchdown, Michael Rivera. Great call by the Volunteers to start the fourth quarter, and they're back within a score. Impressive 10 play, 69 yard drive. I am where memories come at full speed. Here with me, families bond together, and friendships are forged by tradition. I am the place you call home. And on game day, inside my walls is exactly where you belong. Because in the end, Carolina, I am forever to thee. 2013 Gamecock football season tickets are on sale now. Just shy of the 20, first and 10. Shaw with time, but everybody covered, so Shaw takes off. And a ton of running room for Shaw. He slides. And going to be close to the first down. Again, it's where the ball is where he slides. So right at the first down marker. Again, uh, they've got games coming up against Mizzou. Hasn't won yet in the SEC. Vandy and Kentucky, although uh, they had a 26-game win streak against Kentucky snap last year. They get the first down here. And busting it to the outside is Miles. But there are two penalty flags down. So this is coming back. During the run, holding number 87 offense, 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul, replay second down. Because that defender is going to try to disengage. So second and long, Shaw underneath, and a good catch out of the backfield by Miles. <laughs> Davis, right down the middle of the defense, Tennessee trying to rip it out, but Davis hangs on to it. A gain of eight yards. Good run by Davis off the left side. Shaw to throw on second and six, and wide open Cunningham. Inside the 30, being chased by McNeil. The stiff arm. Oh, Cunningham says, get out of the way. First and goal, South Carolina. First and goal for the Gamecocks. 45-yard pass play. And Cunningham, a dangerous weapon. At tight end. Shaw, end zone, overthrown. There was some pressure, and he threw it high. Remember, yeah, see what they do here. Yeah, remember on the goal line at the end of the half, they, they had opportunities to get in. They tried to run twice with Davis. That didn't work. Then Shaw ran it in. Here he's throwing, and it's wide of Sanders incomplete. So now it's third down and goal. Here comes pressure, Shaw being chased, and Shaw sacked by Lathers back at the 19-yard line. 36-yard attempt. Try to extend the lead. And the kick is perfect. Marcus Lattimore hurt the knee at the end of the half. He was carted off after the right knee injury. It was the left knee that he tore last year, the ACL, against Mississippi State. And taken to the hospital about 45 minutes ago. Again, we'll update the latest on him when that news becomes available. But Steve Spurrier, based on what he knows, told Jim Brown at halftime that he thought it was serious. Gray throws complete, and Hunter able to get the first down out to the 46 yard line. Patterson's in the backfield at tailback with Young as the up man. They pitched it to Patterson to run it last time, and they'll do it again. And he's in trouble, but stays in bounds and gets positive yardage before he's whacked by Kadetrix Marcus. See if Tennessee goes back to that up tempo. Works so well. They fake the end around, and now Gray going downfield. Open man. A diving catch inside the 25. Rivera slides to the 22 yard line. First down, Tennessee. 27 yard pass play on the previous down. Gray to throw it again. On the roll up, Gray going for the end zone. Got him in. It's caught. Touchdown. Zach Rogers, his third of the day. 
say what you want about the previous seasons, but the, they have not quit on their coach. It was a mix of running with Kenny Miles in the inside and then the big play to Justice Cunningham through the air. Miles getting the carry on first down. Trying to cut it back and a good hard run. And because of the type of young man that he is. Shaw stepping up, gets away from defenders and dives, but they're going to rule him down short of the first down. It'll be a big third down. Can Tennessee come up with a stop? Play clock at three. They hand it off and they get the first down with Miles. And he might have had a touchdown if not for Byron Moore. Tripped him up at the 36 yard line. Taking the play clock inside five. And now Shaw to throw over the middle caught at the 31 yard line. Shaw backing up, takes the snap to throw, going deep for Sanders, incomplete, just off his fingertips. They're 2-2 two, two on fourth down today, it's fourth and four. Shaw, everybody covered. Shaw trying to create. Shaw in trouble, throws it up for grabs, it's picked off. Intercepted by Lathers. Tennessee down three inside five to play Bray stepping up unloading complete it's Justin Hunter again but certainly the players are playing for their coach right now playing for themselves also of course second and ten and it's caught by Rodgers who has three touchdowns today Bray going that way caught for a first down the long for their kickers this year is 38 yards so they need Another 10 to 15 yards to make it a realistic shot for Pilardi. They run the ball in a big hole. Lane inside the 20. Spun down at the 19-yard line by Swearinger. Now they are in field goal range after the play. Minute 15 left. Bray stepping out. Conley forced the fumble. It's loose. South Carolina ball. But it was Jadavian Clowney, the All-American pass rusher who forced the fumble Shaq Wilson with a recovery yeah this is another game saving play here by Jadavion Clowney it's 38-35 and we can't stop him I think this is second and six or something and uh, fortunately their quarterback steps up a bit he's trying to throw I think to this guy coming across and uh, Jadavion knocks it out. Not just sacks him, but he knocks it out. See his right hand hit him right there. Yeah, no more chance for Tennessee to recover the football. Yeah, and we have needed, play we had to get this fumble. <laughs> or else they got third down and they could have kicked the field goal to tie. They had all kind of options. But uh, I think Shaq Wilson gets it right here. He and Devin Taylor down there fighting for it. And uh, we come out with it. Boy, an unbelievable battle between Clowney and the left tackle, a young tackle for Tennessee all day long. But he gets yeah, the guy's a good player. Here. Yeah, they, had, they this time they a lot of times they had their back over here helping. Fortunately, not this time though. He gave him a little inside wiggle, as you can see, and then I see his hand knock it out. That's what that's what you hope to do right there. Instead of just hitting him, if you can knock it out, you get the fumble, and. Uh, yeah, I thought their guy was going to get it there for a minute. It was right at his feet. But here comes Shaq Wilson, makes a heck of a play to go get the ball. And then Devin Taylor might have actually been the one to get his hands on it down in there. Motion started for 59 minutes. You've blocked to Davian Clowney. Antonio Richardson sleeps one time. And he review. comes around and makes a game changing play. You cannot take a play off with Jadavian Clowney and give him credit. He's been blocked most of the day, but he's continued to play, and that's clearly a fumble. The best pass rusher in college football may have just saved the game for South Carolina. You see here clearly the ball out before the arm starts forward. Ruling in the field confirmed as Shaq Wilson recovered the fumble forced by Clowney. in South Carolina ball. Second down and long for South Carolina, and a minute three on the clock. Shaw on a design run, and he doesn't get much. 58 seconds left, one timeout remaining for the balls. They go out of the eye, so they get their fullback, Gilchrist, in. He hadn't played a whole lot, and they are going to throw it. Shaw forced out of the pocket, 
And he's in trouble. Keeps his balance, but will come up short of the first down. And he stayed in bounds. Or no, he stepped out. They say he stepped out. Wait a minute, they didn't give they didn't give Tennessee back the time the timeout. No, they, they took the timeout. They wanted to take it. Good pump. Patterson in trouble. Down he goes back at the 16. Great punt and coverage by South Carolina. And it's Miles replacing the injured Lattimore running back who makes the play of the day on teams here. Break. Look out, Cody came again. Incomplete pass. Break. Going deep. Jump ball. Accepted by Victor Hampton. South Carolina takes over. Uh, you know, if you can throw that ball down in here, that clock doesn't go anywhere after a first down. So they've got time to zing it around. We're in a sort of a big, uh, sort of a four deep zone. Get on back, guys. Get on back and uh, trying to keep everything in front. So Victor's back here. He's trying to hit this guy deep down the sideline. And uh, Victor, even though he's about 5'9 or so, he, he can jump. And he goes up and out, out fights the guy and gets the ball right there to end the game. What a shootout game that was. Gamecocks do win it in a tough one, 38-35. Victor Hampton sealing it here late in the ball game in a overcast day at williams Bryce Stadium, part of what the Gamecocks going undefeated on the season at home. Yeah, this was a huge game for us, uh, Todd. We just lost two in a row, and this was the first of uh, five straight wins for us, a Tennessee game. Both of them had a chance at it. Great play by Hampton. First interception of the season for Victor Hampton. Now South Carolina can take a knee and end the ball game. And Tennessee will fall to 0-5 in the SEC. Third straight year they've started that way. And South Carolina ends a two-game skid. Give credit to both quarterbacks who came into this game and battled, dealing with confidence issues. I thought both of them played nearly flawless. Tyler Bray. Four touchdowns, Connor Shaw three touchdowns, both over 300 yards. Very well played game on both sides. South Carolina, if Florida loses, still has an outside shot at winning the SEC East, but if Florida beats Georgia, the Gators wrap it up. Steve Spurrier now with Jen. Coach, first let me ask you, what is the latest you heard on Ma Marcus Lattimore? Well, he's got a severe injury. Uh, we'll wait and let the doctors train us, but it's pretty severe, they said. But uh, proud of our guys hanging in there. Defense made a couple clowning. He was the guy that knocked it loose. Yeah, what a game he had. So uh, we're lucky today, very fortunate. Let me ask you, if Lattimore cannot return, what is that to this football team? Well, we'll <laughs> unfortunately, we just have to do what we tried to do, do last year. Uh, but he's, he's he's such a wonderful man. Uh, good things happen to Marcus Lattimore. I, I don't know in what field of life, but he's a wonderful guy. He's going to do well in whatever he does. Let's talk about your quarterback, Connor, Connor Shaw. Had, had 356 a yards, a career record for him. What did you okay. think of his play? It was one of those games that, uh, it, you know, we thought it was windy, but everybody was throwing it all over the place. Sometimes you just, you know, that turns into a good passing day. But, uh, yeah, we messed up a little bit down on the goal line and here at the end, but our defense bailed us out finally at the end there. All right. Good win for Thanks, Coach.